Question 12 from the 2018 National 5 Physics paper assesses our understanding of the path uh, that a charged particle uh, follows whenever it moves through an electric field. So here we have two charged particles, Q and R, and they are both producing their own electric field. So let me just give you a quick review of this. Let's say a charge is positive. So there's a positive charge. The electric field around that charge will be radially outward like this and so therefore if another positively charged particle comes near it so let's say we bring in a little green particle and it's positively charged it'll experience a force away from that uh, red charge however if the charged particle that comes toward it is negatively charged then it would experience a force toward it the opposite is also true so let's say we have a negatively charged particle it's going to have electric fields around it like this where the field lines are traveling inward toward the charged particle and so if we have a positive charge say here then it would be attracted toward it whereas if we have another negative charge here it would be repelled away from it so essentially our summary is that like charges repel and unlike charges like positive and negative attract. So let's go back to the question and see if we can solve the problem. Let's start with the possibility that the path taken by the particle, uh, the particle is a negatively charged particle. So let's just say that it's a negatively charged particle. And if it were coming in this direction, then as it met this charge and it's pulled toward this charge, it goes around that way, that must mean that this charge is a positive charge because it's been pulled toward it unlike charges attract but then the charge meets r well r must be a negative charge because it's been moved away from it and so we need to look at our table now and see is there a combination where the particle itself is negative q is positive and r is negative and we look down and um, b has the charged particle is negative but the rest aren't correct c is the charged particle is negative but the rest aren't correct either so that cannot be a possibility. So let's rub all of that out and have another look. Let's imagine that our charged particle is actually positive. If that were the case, then if it's attracted to this particle, that must mean that this particle is negative. And if it's repelled away from R, then R must be positive. And so if we now look for this combination, uh, the particle is positive. So that would be here or here or here. Q is negative. That must be here or here and R is positive that must be here so therefore the only one that's correct in all three cases is D so D is the correct answer